It's probably the most famous equation of them all, E equals mc squared. It was formulated by Albert Einstein and has meant that for nearly a century, scientists have thought that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. That's 186,000 miles per second. But now scientists carrying out experiments in Switzerland have discovered that some tiny particles seem to break that rule, as David Shukman now explains. Amid all the mysteries of the universe, the puzzle of how energy and matter interact in space, one thing has always seemed pretty clear, that light is the fastest thing around. Well, every so often, science gets a very big shock. In an underground laboratory in Italy, researchers can't quite believe what they're seeing. They've recorded tiny particles fired from another lab 400 miles away, arriving sooner than expected. Sooner, in fact, than a beam of light would have done. What's so extraordinary about these findings is that they seem to challenge the foundation of our understanding of how the universe works. It was Albert Einstein, a century ago, who worked out that nothing could, or should, go faster than light. Well, these measurements could be wrong, or something unexpected is distorting the results, or it really is possible for light to be overtaken. The results were announced by scientists at CERN, the huge lab at Geneva. They now want others to check their findings, to hunt for possible mistakes. But everyone's also wondering if something that seems totally impossible may actually be what's happening. If this result is true, it would mean that we'd have to fundamentally rethink the way that the universe works. Because if you have things that can travel faster than the speed of light, it's not just space that's affected, it's time that's affected too. So things start to travel backwards in time and all sorts of weird and wonderful effects can come out of that. So did Einstein get it wrong? His famous theory explained the connection between energy and mass, the bedrock of modern physics. But it all depends on light travelling at the highest speed possible in the universe. That may still prove to be right, but today no one can be sure. David Shukman, BBC News.